everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with a toy rewind and the blast from action figure past is 1997 Spider-Man Web Traps Monster Spider. This series also included future Spider-Man with Cocoon Web Trap. It's a trap. Sinister Scorpion with Stinger Trap. It's a trap. A much more conservative Spider-Man with a web net trap. It's a trap. And Rampaging Rhino with web boot tra- oh, sorry, snare. Mm. As we look at Monster Spider out of packaging, I'll read the blurb from the packaging back. Caught in a radiation blast while rescuing a group of scientists, Spider-Man is mutated into a creature more spider than man. Help our hero capture the bad guys while he looks for a cure to turn him back to normal. Nah, I'm happier with how he is, thanks. So I'm torn between thinking this represents Spider-Man action figures completely jumping the shark and thinking this is genius level creativity. Either way, clearly someone slipped LSD into the water cooler at Toy Biz HQ the day this was conceived. In the comics, Spider-Man has mutated previously. Notably, in the Six Arms saga, he gained four arms to make up the six of the saga's name. That mutation resulted from Spider-Man creating a chemical cocktail to terminate his powers. And as we see, that didn't go too well. That saga was reimagined as the Neogenic Nightmare storyline in the 90s animated series, which resulted in the six-armed Spider-Man we see here. Another separate storyline from the comics where Spider-Man mutated was condensed into the Neogenic Nightmare as six-armed Spider-Man became the Man-Spider, complete with an action figure of its own representing that ghastly form. In fact, we got Man-Spider not just once, but twice, as in 2000, Spider-Man Classics, which was a forerunner to Marvel Legends, took the Man-Spider bat on, and boy did they run with it. I'm just mentioning these other figures as while the precedent for a monstrous Spider-Man exists, unlike those, I can't find any comic grounding for the appearance of the monster spider we have before us here. It literally seems one day back in 1997, a sculptor was tasked with creating this from scratch. If you're a fan of things that go bump in the night, how can you not love this twisted mess of spider with a dash of man? This foot and not even a handful of fingers betraying that this monster was once a human. Now looking at the articulation and the head rotates around and then these big menacing looking arms also rotate but they are also hinged too and then these itty bitty little arms also rotate even the abdomen rotates probably more points of articulation going on here than a modern hasbro marvel legends the legs rotate and hinge up and down but really this is that late 90s period where toy biz were adding a bunch of articulation but not really putting it to practical use in ways you could pose the action figure that they later perfected with Marvel Legends. To rewind even further, back to the 80s in fact, and to me it has more than a smidgen of Modulok to it. Remember him, the evil beast of a thousand bodies, named just so because of all the interchangeable parts he came with. Here I feel like if I blink, suddenly the abdomen might be where his head is and vice versa. Alas, that kind of playability has been left to the dark recesses of my imagination. Instead, we get this spider trap. An accessory that if made today would be not the accessory, but the actual toy itself. For his action feature we need to stretch out his legs, then you see the button there where we slam a victim into it and there. It's about time Craven the Hunter became Craven the Hunted. Anyway, for the previous Toy Rewind, click the video on the right. As you may have seen, I'm giving some time to answering some questions at the end of my videos, so feel free to pipe up with a question in the comments below. And I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.